Okay, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a video tour using uh, Google Earth. So first thing you wanna do is go to google.com forward slash earth. You're gonna come in here and click launch uh, Earth. It's gonna take a second, it's basically rendering everything. This is all done inside the browser. Um, you can do all of this as well from um, an iPad. Now, I haven't tried it on the iPhone, but um, I know there's an app. I'm sure you, you can probably do most of it there as well. Um, but So it took me to the last place I was at. So I wanna create a new project. So there's two ways to do that. On the left-hand side there, this one here is called Projects, and you can also go to the little menu up here and go to Projects from there. And then I'm gonna do a new project and I'm gonna save it in my Google Drive. I'm just going to call it um, Kiwi PS Tour or Palm Springs Tour. You can give it a description. Um, and remember, if you're sharing it with a client, the little share button's up there. You know, you probably want to give nice descriptions and stuff, put a bit of effort into it. And then once you've got that set up, you can just go to new feature down here and go ahead and let's go search and add a place. So. I have um, already in my clipboard here some properties that I want to show. So I'm just going to click here. Um, and I'm going to start off with the property of um, this particular homeowner, where they live. So I know they live in Malibu. This is actually the house on the water. So I'm going to add this one to the project. And um, I'm going to just call it home right boom and then save that so that's the first property on their tour so I'm gonna start their tour off from their home and then it's gonna sort of zoom across town all the way over into Palm Springs so I'm gonna go now and add to the next place so I'm gonna show them this particular house which I think is perfect for them let me select that paste it in there and this is it there so boom, zoom out, all the way across, boom, there it is, and that's the home. And I'm going to add this to the prop to the project. And what you can do is, you know, you can then go in here and you can like put in the price if you wanted to. Like, I know this is, I think it's 880k. So they know exactly, especially if there's a lot of them and you know price is a big deal, you want to make sure you put that in there. And you can also go to edit place. And if you go to edit place, now in here in the description, you can put in the full description, which you can take from the MLS, add it in there. Um, and then you can also add links to any of it in here, which you can link to the property on your search site. So if they come in here and they're going to see it and like it, and then they can click on the description and then if they click on the link it's going to take them to your search site because you don't want them you know potentially coming in looking how great this property is and then end up going to Zillow seeing an agent on a Zillow page and, and working with them right so you want to keep everything under your umbrella so put the description and put a link to your search site in here um, you can also change what the actual pin drops look like uh, let's do a little check mark on that one there and then the rest of it you don't really need to worry about, okay? And if you have particular photos, like you wanna pull some photos from the MLS of this property that really highlight it, you can drop them in here as well. It's kind of a cool feature. So let's zoom out. So Bristol's there. Now the other thing I wanna show them is a school because they've got a young kid and um, you know he, um, you know, think, they're thinking about moving out here, renting out the Malibu place. So there's a nice private school. So I want to show them where that is in location to their property. So again, I'm going to use this drop down, add a place. I'm going to put in the search, the property at the top there. Now it's going to zoom over to the school. It's really not that far away. I'm going to add that to the project. This is the um, school. It's called a Palm Valley School. Okay. And then save that. Okay. So now you've actually got these three here. So you can simply just go to present mode. And it's going to start off at the first one, at their home address. 
and you can show them by clicking through here. Okay, and this is how far away it is. Let's go and look at that first property on three Bristol Court we talked about. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. This is the golf course. Um, let's zoom in. And we can sort of show them what the 3D view looks like. Let's get down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, it's got solar. You can see, see everyone's pretty much got solar. Look how close you are to these neighbors. Um, let's go ahead and drop a person down there. And all you do is just drag them in and drop them. And it's automatically going to adjust it to the street view for you. It actually is telling me down here no street view available. Um, I guess the little Google car hasn't gone down this road yet. But for most properties, you can do that. Um, then let's see what else we can do here. Yeah, and if you just zoom out a little bit. Well, those are the main, main things. You know, I think there is a, a way to, well, quite, yeah, down table of contents here, you can quickly scroll between them. But there is actually a way to actually measure as well between them. Um, I've quite, I haven't quite figured out how to do that. But it, it's quite easy, I believe, to be able to show them on the map how you can actually measure between the two different places. But if you scroll out here, you should be able to see where these other yeah, there we go. So that's the this property. That's the school. And you can see how close they are together in relation to, you know, here's the airport over here and everything else. So that's, you know, basically how to create a tour inside of um, Google Earth. And then sharing with the client is as simple as just going share project um, and putting in their email address. And then you just put in the email address and then say done. Um, and it'll send it to them. And you also copy a link and you can send it to them separately if you wanted to. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.